So now, as we are approaching the, the deeper topics of the conversion, the conversion part, um, we are going to talk a lot about how to structure funnels, how to structure um, a landing page, how you can like create a really high and well optimized sales system for, for, for your business, for any business. And what we have to cover first before we can actually have a look at this video's topic is basically this overall understanding that previously businesses with different products, with different services, with all sorts of different things that a customer could look at, right? All that was put onto one website, a standard website where you can browse products, where you can browse the shop, where you can maybe look at the entry-level products, but you can also have a look at the, uh, the more expensive products that are basically meant for existing customers. You can have a look at the company, at the About Us section. You can potentially even uh, apply to get a, a, a job there and to work and help this, this business grow because you're passionate about the vision or it's just a great business and you, you need a job, right? So all this was put into a website and marketers or businesses used this website to run their ads as the place where people land at the target URL when they click on ads. But the problem is that this is just not optimized enough because people see one ad for one specific product and one specific call to action and then they land on a big website where they basically have to find this call to action again because you have all your products and all your stuff in the same website and people don't want to click. Whenever you have to make a click and load a new page, this takes time, this takes um, mental effort from, from the customer, which we just don't want to do. So what basically emerged is a new way how to put, uh, how to come up with like a better conversion optimized page, especially for these ads or this very particular one step, one call to action kind of um, call to actions that you, that you say to your customer. Also, for example, if you have a YouTube video and you talk about one specific thing that they could look at, or you talk about one th specific product that they could potentially buy Uh, about this topic on your page, on your website, then you don't want to send them to your website and have them searching for it. You want to give it to them in the most quick and best possible way so everyone understands it and people just get to where they uh, want to go very, very quickly with no effort, with perfect loading speed, with perfect uh, user experience. And so this is called the sales funnel. And the sales funnel basically takes one out of these products, for example, an entry level beginner first, first test bundle kit or something, or your first day, first 30 days trial. And it puts that into one big page where it uses all there is to, to, to know about psychology, sales, closing, all the stuff that drives the emotion of the people and that has people actually making a decision and signing up and buying the product and doing the conversion. You take, now you, you don't show a bit of all your stuff on of all your products on one page. You only show one stuff, one thing, which is the best suited and the most important for the specific traffic, the specific people that visit it. And you use all your sales knowledge and all, yeah, just making it a very, very well optimized in terms of convincing and exciting the customer. And this is called the direct conversion landing page where you have only have one call to action. So this whole page might have multiple call to action buttons and multiple sections, but the overall feel that you get from this page is, okay, there's one thing to do. Maybe this is a page for a book or maybe this is a page for 
to buy an online course. Or maybe this is the page to sign up for the free first consultation. And whatever this page is made for, it's the main goal is to reach this specific goal and nothing else. No likers on Facebook, no newsletter sign up, no other products, like no distractions. Complete focus onto one specific call to action. And if you make these, if you craft these landing pages really well, and by now I, we've basically built thousands of these pages and we've figured out the best possible, possible way how you can create a page that just works, that turns visitors into clients, into customers, into leads, into paying glad customers, because it was just made in a really convincing and a really strong way. And so while, for example, most online shops or most businesses that would um, run their Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok traffic onto such a page, such a web page, website, and they struggle with their conversion rate. They have like a one to 3% conversion rate, which is like an average with websites. With these landing pages, you can get your um, conversion rate up way higher. For example, for actually buying a paid product, these conversion rates can go up to 20, 25% at max. And for lead generation or giving out something for free in return for an email address or a phone number, your conversion rates could be even higher, up to 45, 50%. So you see the, the big, big difference, how this is changing the performance of your sales and getting first customers in, getting, actually turning your visitors into customers. This is the most important thing. And now that we have understood this basic principle of building additional landing pages, instead of just having everything in one website, we can have a look at, okay, how does the psychology of such a landing page work? And the, the title of this video is a combination of some letters, which I will explain. So the name of this video lesson is the combination of these letters here. And it basically stands for WWHTCTA. And it refers to the way these landing pages are built. And each landing page basically works in the exact same way that the human mind asks questions. If I tell you something like, come with me, we're going on a boat trip, or we're doing this, or come with me, let's do it. So I present a call to action to you, but you don't really know, okay, what is this all about? Why should I come with you? So this is like the first question that mind asks, okay, why? What's the reason? What is the motivation? What is in it for me? How, like, why, why do it? Why do it? And then I might show you the why and I might tell you, yeah, it's an amazing opportunity to make money, to get rich, to do whatever. And you would ask the next question, which is, okay, so what? What, I'm, what am I going to do? What do I have to do? What do I get? What do I, what, what's the plan? So the mind jumps from why to what. And then I might tell you, yeah, we're going, on, uh, we're going to the gym or we're going to do anything. And then I might tell you the what and I might tell you exactly what, is it, what it is that you get or what we're going to do. And your mind will ask the next question, which is, okay, thanks. And now I now see what I get or what I have to do, but how will it transform me in the promised way? So if you tell them, hey, we're going to do X, Y, Z, and this is going to change your life in this specific way, which would be the why, and you know what it is, but you don't really understand how doing this would give you these benefits. So that's why the how section explains how the transformation is achieved and then you have trust to back it up. So from, from, this, from these letters here, the, the first W stands for why. The second W stands for what. The H stands for how. And the, tr the T stands for the trust 
which would be a section where you have a lot of testimonials, elements, um, trust badges, authorities, numbers, review scores to give a lot of trust to what you've been saying here in these, uh, in these, in these first sections. And then you have the call to action where it's clearly stated this and this and this is going to happen next. Click on this button now to get to the next page or to get the free stuff or to sign up for this or to go to the checkout and actually purchase the product. So this is created in this way because that's how the human mind works. And so what you have here at the very top of every page is basically one section that combines the very best elements of all following sections. It's called the God Spot because that is the most, most viewed section on your page because every customer that visits your page sees this page, this section in full. Every visitor that views the page views this section in full and only might see a bit from these other sections because he has to scroll down, he has to stop and read, while you can make sure that everyone who lands on the page actually sees the God Spot on desktop and also on mobile. This is also called above the fold, like you might know from the, from the newspapers. Um, 50 years ago, when you received a newspaper, they were basically folded in the, in the middle here. And the newspaper, the, the magazines, the print agencies, they were putting the most important stuff that, is, that you have to read today in this above the fold section while the not so important stuff comes later. And that is the exact same psychology on the landing page where you put the stuff that is really, really important from your why, from your what, from your how, from your trust, from your CDA, you put it into your God spot. And if you build landing pages in this way and you combine really good sales psychology with um, high quality brand design, with good design, with strong UX, UI, really nice uh, web design, and you have it all in a really congruent, but also highly emotional, highly sales optimized way, then you get the best possible conversions. Typically a conversion rate between five and 10% uh, of converting existing, uh, of, of converting these interested viewers into paid customers. That is the job. And that's, and that's pretty much it. Um, that is the first overview of how to come up with these really high optimized landing pages. And this is stuff that can, we can go very, very deep into. Um, I have a full other masterclass, a full course, which has like 70 or 80 videos about sales funnel strategy. And understanding this is pretty much the gateway into sales funnel strategy, into landing page design, into funnel design, into copywriting as well. And we can spend hundreds and hundreds of hours of going so deep into this topic of sales pages, of sales funnel strategy, of uh, page design, funnel design, and also copywriting and storytelling and all the stuff that goes into. And I have so much more stuff to talk about uh, in this specific topic, how to create these pages in a very, very good way, how to get the most and the possible of high, highest conversion rate uh, with like proven um, proven templates on both on, on desktop, but also on mobile, how these pages perform to the absolute best. Because that is one of the main drivers that keeps um, marketing systems unprofitable because they have good ads or they have a good product, a good brand, but they don't, just don't know how to close the sale in the end and actually achieve this call to action and the action from the customer, which is the conversion. And so I cannot go deeper into this topic here in this first overview masterclass. Here it's really just about us understanding the holistic framework. And if you think, if you say, this is something that you want to deeply master because you love sales, you love the data analysis, you love psychology, and you want to deeply understand how these 
sales strategies work and how you can optimize a sales strategy in the most possible way, there will be many, many more other videos and full courses um, that you can look into. So for now, I see you in the next video where I talk about another very important concept um, when it comes to optimizing your conversions.